Hi, in this video I'd like to show you a somewhat more advanced uh, 2D experiment, the so-called TOXI. It's a total correlation experiment. It's called total correlation. It's somehow linked to a COSI, however it goes to, through a whole spin system. What do I mean with this one? You see correlations as long as you would see couplings between hydrogen atoms, between protons. This is a very useful technique if you, for example, want to look at peptides, which consist out of amino acids. So you would see the correlation within one amino acid, and then you would see the correlation between the next amino acid. In the same way, you can go through the spin systems if you have oligosaccharides, so several sugar molecules attached to each other. So you could see the spin system for each individual sugar molecule. But let us start a bit easier by looking at the cosy, so not the toxy, the cosy of ethyl acetate. At the moment it's a bit too deep, so I will just use my wheel to make it a bit more cosy like. And we see that we see extremely little. Ethyl acetate is a very simple molecule, so we have our ethyl group over here, and this one here is a the uh, methyl group which is sitting on the ethanoic acid side. Again we see the diagonal, so each signal is correlating with itself as expected. And if we look for any additional peaks then we see extremely little. The only thing we can see is that the two carbon atoms or the two groups that are belonging to the ethyl alcohol from the ethyl acetate are coupling with each other. And that's what's to expect it. So we see this CH3 group around 1.2 is coupling with the CH2 group around 4. And that's all what's visible. Now let us have a look at the toxi from ethyl acetate. When I opened the spectrum I was faced with something you can see right now. However, MNOVA wanted to be very smart and put some spectra on the side, on the axis, the traces here. However, if you look at those, they don't look like ethyl acetate. The system wasn't able to connect the correct traces. So I go into the setup and just check what has happened here. So in this case, we need to find the correct spectrum which has been run on the 13th, because I know this is the ethyl acetate, the other one was the ibuprofen. So often when you open up a toxi, you won't see any traces at all. So, but now we have at least the correct ones. So again, we have to scroll it down so that we can get the correct depth. And now we are basically at the same spectrum as we could see for the cozy for ethyl acetate. Why is this? The toxi allows us to see the total correlation, so every single proton that is coupling with a proton will be visible. However, if you break the chain, you won't see a correlation anymore. We know that in ethyl acetate, the ethyl group is connected via an oxygen and a carbonyl to the next methyl group, but we won't see a coupling from our CH2 group over the carbonyl group to the remaining methyl group. We don't see a coupling here because we have two so-called independent spin systems. We have one spin system on the ethyl side and the other side that's just the methyl group. So there is no additional interaction. So the, we have two independent spin systems. Okay, let's go back to our ibuprofen. Here is the cozy again from our ibuprofen and I have been copying in the structure of ibuprofen. I put some yellow lines in between and these lines should indicate our independent spin system. So we have a spin system over here, we have a spin system over here and then these two 
are forming an independent spin system and these ones are forming an independent spin system. So again, we wouldn't expect a big difference between the cozy and the toxy. However, there would be a small difference. Let's have a look at this methyl group or that of one of those methyl groups. They are placed here around one in my cozy spectrum. This signal is obviously correlating with itself. That is something we can see here. But then if we go down or horizontally, then we see there is only one additional peak which leads us to the CH group. So this purple line indicates my coupling in the cozy. However, if we would have run a toxi, we would have seen an additional peak. We would have seen a spot on this position. That one we won't see here because this methyl group can only couple with this hydrogen atom. It can't couple in the cozy with this CH2 group because it's too far away. However, in a total correlation spectrum, this would be possible. I said there wouldn't be many differences because if you look here, this CH2 group is completely locked off. So here's a carbonyl group. So here we have no chunks to see anything over there. Here we have a quaternary carbon. So this one won't form any difference in a toxi. Here we would see the standard coupling we also see in the, in the cozy. We would not be able to see over those quaternary carbon atoms.